So Pete, I'm looking at some application performance and I kind of want to understand and troubleshoot what's, what's causing um, the existing performance or latency. Uh, where would I, I start with that on vSAN? The best place to really start is to understand how you would define and quantify if something is not performing very well. And in sort of the storage world, that's kind of uh, seen in terms of the latency metric, assuming that there's activity and workloads, because latency on its own really doesn't mean anything. It's if there's activity, but then it's uh, taking uh, time for that activity to actually process, then, then that would be the key metric. So that would be the first starting point there. And, and from there, then it's really doing a, sort of a breakdown or an analysis of what are the influencing factors that are going to come into play there, whether you have things like hardware, the actual hosts, uh, the networking, um, the uh, cluster configuration, the storage policies, and you know whether you're using certain data services, as well as the applications and the workload. Uh, all of those have an influencing factor on whether or not the application can really deliver what you're expecting. So from there, you know, once you understand, okay, what are all these variables, then you're going to look to really identify, okay, where, what is uh, occurring at X given time? Oh, am I hitting, you know, 70 milliseconds uh, for a given a period of time. Okay, yes, that will help answer the question of if we are having a performance issue or not. Um, and that's where you're going to utilize some of the great performance metrics that you have right within uh, vCenter for um, looking at vSAN. So from there, that's going to help you then be able to begin that process of mitigating the issue and addressing the issue. So is there, I, I think I saw something new with the 7 update 3 coming out to help try to drive kind of some visibility here. Uh, can you speak to that? Yeah. The, so within vSense 7 Update 3, we um, have a new feature called the VM IO Trip Analyzer. And this is a great new feature uh, that a user can use to look and see where the potential bottleneck is within the storage stack. You know, oftentimes we, we refer to these, these elements that, that have an influencing factor and it, and it sounds kind of like magic if you're not used to uh, talking about these things on a regular basis. But what the VMIO trip analyzer does is it allows you to select a VM uh, and the respective VMDK. And over the period of a of a given amount of time, it will analyze the I/O and the and the traffic from from that VMDK, and it's going to uh, render a nice little visual that's going to help you understand where at in the storage stack the bottleneck may be. So whether it's at the disk group or the capacity device or the network card, uh, it's going to actually render that, and then it's going to report the actual you know metrics associated with that average read and write latencies, uh, standard deviations, which will help you tell the variability of the latency that is in that um, uh, for that application. So uh, it's a great new tool and you can find that out in, uh, um, uh, in vSAN 7 Update 3. This sounds like this really builds on the IO Insight that came out in Update 1 that helped kind of pull a SCSI trace and look at, hey, what is what is the IO distribution and what is the sequential or, you know, what was the the randomness of workloads and things like that. But instead of that just being, okay, here's one level below the VM looking through the entire pathway now. Right. And they could, in one sense, they could be seen as discrete tools within uh, the actual, you know, vCenter server. But in fact, what they're doing is, is these are very focused uh, uh, tools that do, in a sense, one thing really well, and you can use them together to really better understand, you know, some of the characteristics of a given environment. I like this. Start with the vSAN performance service at a macro level, and then go deep when I need to. So exactly. Thanks, yep.